guys. Let's go over to Pierre. Uh, there's... Oh, yeah, we have multiple missions and all the kind of stuff. Oh, I forgot to get him with the sashimi. I knew that was the thing I needed to do as well. Um, he closes at, like... I want to say five. Did he close at five or four? Uh, okay, five. Okay, okay. Cool. So we can go back. We're, we're moving a little bit faster right now, which is good. But let's go get him a sashimi. I guess we could sell all the stuff too and hopefully we get I, I i think we hopefully we get money from clint because he said he's going to pay a good price or whatever right not clint but uh pierre right uh we get the sashimi from inside of here i know we put it up inside of the fridge so let's go grab that real quick uh there it is right there perfect awesome so hopefully it's not like oh i need a specific type of sashimi i mean that's just like a general thing of sashimi right there so hopefully it's fine right and i think it looks like this video is going to be super duper long and again so i don't know hopefully you guys are okay with it but maybe after all this stuff we're going to be cutting the video or ending the video or whatever uh, probably going to be going straight over to the left, over to here, to the, uh, whatever her name is, the traveling trader person. We're going to be going over there and seeing what she's selling before her mark closes, right? Uh, and then I guess maybe after that, that's going to be the end of the episode, right? But see what this is over here. I need wild horseradish, if it's not too inconvenient. Okay, that's for Evelyn. We should have that. We should have, uh, we haven't really done, like, any, uh, foraging, like, growing any foraging stuff at our farm, like, at all during springtime, you guys, it's actually kind of surprising. Uh, but for you, we do have the sashimi. Where is that at? There it is right there. So let's give you the sashimi for your mission. So there it is right there. It's about time. I was starting to get the shakes. I wanted this fish so bad. Oh, mm, now that's good. Man, who eats, who sounds like that when they eat sashimi? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Waffle. Hey, no problem. So we're going to get some good money, or what do we what do we got going on here? <sighs> I've got all these behind the counter blues. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, is there anything else? Oh yeah, I was going to sell some stuff. Okay, so we're going to get about thousand from the two cheese right here, which is good money. So there you go. We're going to get fifteen hundred, almost sixteen hundred for the mayonnaise. That's really good money there too. Okay, so we're just short of that twenty five thousand. I think I'm going to sell a common mushroom real quick, and then boom, there you go. Okay, so if I go to the community center right now and do the twenty five thousand bundle for the safe or whatever it's called the safe room the vault that's what it's called uh not that one that's 2500 25,000 apparently the reward for this you guys keep on saying or not not lately but you guys have said in previous episodes that the reward for this is the crystallarium and that's the thing that like you put like a diamond inside there and then like five days later you get another diamond it, like duplicates it right so you get like unlimited money but you know it takes a, it takes a while before that actually happens so I'm like, I could definitely see the worth in this thing. So if I spend 25,000 now, how much money is that going to be in the future, right? On top of all the money we're making right now, out of all the mayonnaise, all the gold star cheese, all the parsnips, the wine, all that kind of stuff. I definitely think it's a good investment. I definitely think we should do it. Let's do it. Let's go to the community center. It's going to be 440 right now. And then going over to the, whatever the place is called behind my, uh, and there's Caroline right there. Uh, we should be able to make it over. I, I think I keep. I guess I can look it up in the real wiki right now. I keep, I keep on saying, oh, maybe, maybe the, do they close at like eight or whatever? Let me let me actually look it up. The traveling merchant or whatever her name is. What time does she stop selling stuff? Oh, let's call the traveling car. Okay, not that big of a deal. But uh, oh, oh yeah, it is until uh, eight p.m. Okay, so it's five p.m. right now. Let's go over to the vault real quick. Thankfully, we're still moving a little bit faster right now, which is really good. Let's go over here. Let's go out on the bulletin board. We go over here to the safe. Or the vault. I keep on saying that. Whatever. It's like a giant heckin' safe. So, whatever. 25,000. Are we going to buy that? We're we going to have 30. We're we going to have basically no money. So, we can't even buy anything from the traveling salesperson. I mean, she usually has scams, anyways. So, do I even care? Uh, I think we're going to do it. Let's do it. Boom. I bought it. Oh, that's the 5,000. Where did I, uh, there's right there. Yep, you guys were right. We got the crystallarium right there. Insert a gem of your choice and it will grow copies. Just like I said, it's like an unlimited money glitch. Like we got going on in our Stardew Valley. Or, uh, what's it called? This is Stardew Valley. <laughs> Slime Rancher series. You guys would not believe how many times I've done the intro and outros for both Stardew Valley and Slime Rancher. And I said like the opposite thing. Like I I'm doing like an intro for Slime Rancher. I'm like, welcome back to some more modded Stardew Valley. And I like go back and have to like re-record it. <laughs> but anyways, we have a few more hours until nighttime or 8, 8 p.m. or whatever. And then I guess I'll end off the video or whatever. I know it's going to be a long episode today, but at least we're going to be getting a lot of stuff done. I definitely want to get it done because I know if I'm going to be starting next episode, it's going to be like 8 p.m. or whatever. And I know I'm going to forget to do all this stuff anyways, right? Uh, but we have like no money right now. So mm, does she buy stuff? Like if I if I wanted to sell her, uh, is there anything over here? Maybe uh, I could sell. Yeah, we, oh, those leaks. Where's the horse ride? Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we can give that to Evelyn. Oh, yeah, aren't we supposed to get, do we have money here? Oh, yeah, we have a thousand gold. Okay, that's not bad. That's good money. 
We can get uh, 150 from Evelyn. We can do that next episode. And slay the monsters. We need to do... Oh, whoa, I can't even do that right now. Ooh. Uh, or, I, I mean, I could do that right now, but... I don't know if you get good money from that. I guess uh, I guess I can grab some. And maybe take those. Maybe, maybe sell some of the salmon berries if we need to, need to right? Then uh, down here, whenever we come back next episode, uh, I definitely want to... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's open right there now. Cool. I definitely want to plant some mahogany trees right there. And then we're going to get some hardwood from those, right? Because we already have the tree fertilizer. We already have the mahogany uh, leaves, seeds, or whatever in my inventory. So just go over here. Go talk to whatever her name is. I don't even think she has a name. It's just called the Traveling Cart or whatever, right? Let's see. Uh, tulip Lobster Coleslaw Green Bean. Fiddlehead Risotto. Summer Spangle Milk. One milk for 500. Oh, a truffle. Ooh. I th haven't you guys said something about if, if she sells a truffle, I need to buy it. Ooh, but she doesn't buy anything down here, so I can't I can't get any money. 620 right now. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I, maybe I can go to Gus and then he'd buy it, then come back. But I don't know if we can come back in time and get that truffle. But I, I, I'm like, we're probably going to be upgrading. I'm like, maybe next episode, maybe late next episode. We're going to get the money back. The 12,000, which is such a crazy thing because we literally only have 1,000 right now. But maybe next episode we can start upgrading the bar and then, you know, we can get pigs. We can get the goats, all that kind of stuff. And then we can get the truffles. So we don't even really need to spend 3,000 there. Pufferfish, large egg, grand. And then another rare seed. Um, I could buy that. So in the fall, it takes all seasonally grow. I guess I can get another one of those bad bellies going, right? For a thousand. I, I guess if anything, that's not too bad. Another coffee bean. Yeah, we already have that. We already have many of those. And by the way, I had a silver star one in my inventory before I paused uh, like 10, 15 minutes ago. And I replanted that back down. Just in case I'm getting any comments about that. I did indeed plant that down. So anyways, I guess I guess I'll, I'll, I'll buy the rare seed just so I'm buying something. But I feel like that truffle might be worth it. But it's three. That's a lot of money. But what do you even get? What do you even get out of a truffle? Like, I guess we look that up real quick. Truffle. There it is right there. Yeah, the truffle oil. And you, wow, the truffle just on its own is 625. So yeah, I'm like, going to lose a lot of money if I just try and strip sell that. But the truffle oil, oh, 1400 there. You get that by combining together uh, the truffle, I guess, in the oil machine. And that just gives you the uh, truffle oil. But that is a community center thing, right? But where is that in the community center? Is that even like in an area where it makes sense? Oh, yeah. Well, here's there's a truffle there for that. So yeah, I, I guess I guess we just buy that rabbit or not the rabbit's foot, man, uh, the rare seed. I guess we'll just get that. And then we I think we have one at home already. So we'll have two of these, which is pretty good. Right. So yep, there you go. Cool. And then I guess I'll just end off the video right here. So anyways, I guess I'll end off the video. I'll do the outro while cutting down the stumps over here. Just so I'm not just standing around doing nothing. Right. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Modded Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because it looks like whenever we come back, we're probably going to sell a lot more stuff. We're going to plant down the mahogany seeds, all that kind of jazz. And then hopefully we're going to start working on getting that upgraded barn, getting the the, the, the goats, all that kind of stuff. I did get a comment from people saying uh, to fish in that pond. I'll probably do that next. I don't know. Maybe at the beginning of next episode. I don't know, because I still want to I still want to plant down the mahogany trees and get them going and then, you know, have to have some progress with them. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. And then speaking of mahogany, see, yeah, we got one right there. So it's actually a pretty good uh, spot to get more mahogany. Since we actually have 11 right now, which is pretty good. You get more fiber if I want to make another tree fertilizer, though. Anyways, we got the 12 hardwood right here. I guess I'll just manually save the game and make sure I don't click anything right here. Also glitch, right? So <laughs> there you go. Hit OK. And on the bottom left, it'll say it's saved, right? Oh, no, it's probably cut. Off. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, you saw it said save right there. Progress has been saved. So now it's saved. So that's good. Now it's safe for me to actually exit out of the game. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. All right, you guys are back. Uh, you guys probably just saw like a fake outro right there because I'm like, I put the footage together from the, the two recordings that I just did a minute ago, and they're like an hour long. So obviously I'm not going to upload an hour long video. So I, I guess I'll just split this up into two videos. So you guys probably already know that by now. But I, like I said a minute ago, I guess we'll just try out fishing over here. Is there a slime? There is a slime behind me, man. Uh, I'm very man. OK, very curious to see what's actually in here, because you guys said that you guys like specifically pointed this out. And I'm slowed down anyways from the slime. So. Might as well actually fish in here and see what we actually catch. But it's 8 p.m. Uh, oh, yeah. If anything, yeah. Saving the game right there. We did lose out on the... Oh, oh, we got a hit. We we, do, we did lose out on the Pepper Popper, like, speed boost or whatever. Or Either that or it, like, ran out naturally. I wasn't paying attention, but... Uh, oh, wow, we got it. Ooh, a wood skip. Is that... It is community center. Okay, let's see. Fish tank, where would that be? 
It is. It is specialty. I was about to say, like, where would that even fit in? I guess, yeah. Specialty fish. Hoverfish there. So we get the ghost fish. When do we get the... Oh, yeah, the ghost... Isn't that... We get that from the mines. Like, some random thing dropped it, or am I thinking about something else? I'm not 100% sure. I think... Yeah, didn't a ghost literally drop a ghost fish? Or something like that. Or, no, I think I'm thinking about maybe ectoplasm or something. I don't know. I'm super confused right now. Anyway, sandfish. Probably get that by fishing in the desert, obviously. Pufferfish. I don't know when we get that. Haven't seen that before. Uh, lake fish and stuff like that. So we're actually missing just the sturgeon right there. I kind of want to look at the built-in wiki and see what we're missing there. And of course, eel and walleye. Yeah, eel, we need, it needs to be like nighttime and raining or whatever in the ocean. So that kind of sucks there. Tuna. Yeah, we already donated two tuna. Oh, wait, no, we didn't donate tuna. We donated sardine and rest now. Yeah, tilapia. Yeah, I don't think we have tilapia right now, unfortunately. But yeah, at least we're making a little bit of progress here, which is pretty good. Glittering boulder removed. So that's actually going to be pretty interesting there. I guess I'll fish one more time. If I if I catch something right here, it's going to be good. But I kind of want to eat. Oh, oh, not eat, but uh, well, I, I guess, yeah, eat a pepper popper if I have one spare. But I want to head home here in just a minute. Well, at least if anything, at least it pauses the game in the background. So I have to actually. Oh, whoa, we got another thing. Oh, it's a regular carp. Ooh. Do we have another? Oh, we don't have another pepper pop. Oh, yeah, we do right here. OK, let's eat that. So we move a little bit faster and I guess we'll just go plant down a bunch of the uh, mahogany seeds that we have in our inventory. And I guess maybe on the way back home, we could actually uh, if there are any tall grasses around here, uh, there's a few like weeds right there. Get a little bit of fiber out of that and of course turn that into what do you call it? Uh, tea or not tea tree, uh, tree fertilizer, I think it's called, right? Yeah, eh, not seeing anything right there, unfortunately, but. Uh, oh, wow. A lot, yeah, wow. I should not have gone down. There is a lot more over here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're getting a lot more uh, fiber over here. I don't know how much we actually need specifically. There is a uh, thing right there for Evelyn. We need to give Evelyn a horse rash. So let's definitely do that here in just a minute. But 920. Yeah, we should have enough to do another uh, fertilizer, I think. Right. So let's let's see. Uh, Where's that? at? Oh, do I have the stone? Hold on. Let's get the stone out of this. There we go. So we have another tree fertilizer. So we have 11 mahogany seeds, 11 tree fertilizer. I don't. I think you guys said I don't have to dig in the ground, so uh, I guess we'll just uh, plant it down randomly here anyways. I'm like, if I'm going to cut it down, I don't think it really even matters where I even put the tree, right? So if that's the case, let's do this. I guess we'll just put this here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that works. Nice. I guess maybe I'll clean out a, uh, have a, have a three by three around here or something like that. I don't know. Uh, just in case I actually does need to have the space or whatever, right? But uh, there you go. Get rid of that. And I'll... Give these things some tree fertilizer here before I forget about them. So yeah, there you go. Is that okay? That's already been fertilized. Fertilizer. Yeah, you can just barely see it's ever so slightly darker there. And I guess I'll do the same thing here. And of course, use some tree fertilizer on these things. And then hopefully, uh, one, two, and then boom, and then boom. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Tree fertilizer like right next to it, so <laughs> didn't need to waste any time right there. But it's 11 p.m. right now. Yeah, we got this. No problem. I don't think it needs to be watered. Yeah, we never watered the mahogany tree that we have up north. Yeah, we never did that, so I don't think we have to worry about that, honestly. So let's go up here. I guess we'll uh, cut down this mahogany tree. Just kind of get this out of the way for right now. Or maybe we can keep it. Oh, whoa, we got a lot of uh, something. What is that? Oh, yeah, the pickled cauliflower. So we got the cauliflower juice and the pickled cauliflower done now. Awesome. Okay, so what I want, I wanted to put strawberries over there, right? So uh, I guess we'll do that. So yeah, sell the pickled cauliflower. Get some good. Uh, so what are we going to get out of that? How much money? Oh, it doesn't say whenever it's uh, like that, so. There we go. 560 from each. So we're going to get 39, almost 4,000 from selling seven right there. That's insane. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I guess we'll put up the salmon berries up over here. Uh, that's technically forging, so I guess we'll put that up over here. So that's forging. Okay, that put up the daffodil and the wild horse rash. I guess, I guess I'll give her a, uh, the gold one. Actually, I, this is for a mission, so I don't think it really matters what star rating the, the horse rash is, honestly. So I might just keep that as is. Then uh, we have hardwood right there i think you guys said i get 12 hardwood from each mahogany tree so if we just plant it down 11 we have 12 counting the one we already have grown we want to have over 100 hardwood out of this not even counting how many hardwood we already have in stores we might have like 200 or some of that here that's going to be crazy you guys awesome chanterelles i guess i'll put that up as well as anything else that we kind of just thought oh maybe i'll sell that to whatever his name is uh the traveling trader whatever her name was uh but yeah she doesn't buy anything unfortunately which really sucks put some of the fish up over here there you go cool then, uh, yeah, I don't need any of that other stuff. I'll just put that up in storage. And then, yeah, the crystallarium. I do want to, oh, yeah, strawberries, strawberries. Let's get those going over here. Well, I only have six, so I guess I might have to go inside and grab some of the strawberries inside. So, or uh, strawberries, cauliflower, whatever it is. kind of want to see. So, okay, those are the gold star. They're the, yeah, we have a lot of gold star cauliflower. I might as well use those. And, uh, yeah, we have 42 
silver star ones. So hold on. Pickled cauliflower, I think it's called. Uh, how much is that? 560. Hmm. 560 compared to was it strawberry jam or jelly or whatever that is? 560 compared to 406. OK, so yeah, let's do the cauliflower. We get more money out of that. So there you go. Then we will put those up inside the preserving jars. Then we need to figure out what we're going to be putting inside those crystal or that one crystallarium is good because I don't think we have just a diamond just sitting around or anything like that, right? Uh, I, I guess we'll just see what we have up in storage and then I uh, take it from there, right? And then I, I guess maybe we'll check on this if we have any cheese here. We could just sell while we're out here. There you go. Check on the mayonnaise as well. I don't know if I checked it. Did I check on the mushrooms? I think I, I don't know. I can't remember. I did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and it's 1210. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I don't know why I'm like freaking out over here. Uh, check on the chickens. Yeah, they're all inside of here. Grab the mayonnaise. There you go. Grab those. Do not disturb the chicks or the other uh, ducklings or the void chick right there. Hopefully uh, that thing might actually be an adult by the end of this episode. I don't know. I might have to see. Let's we'll sell all that stuff. So the gold star cheese. Wow. Amazing. And then the mayonnaise. We want to get some good money there because remember trying to save up for the upgraded uh, barn because that's like 12,000. I need like 400 wood on top of that too. Might need to get more stone too. I'm not 100% sure how much. Uh, I think I wrote it down actually. I need 200. Okay, so um, I I lost a lot of stone crafting stuff and stuff like that. So we're at 109 right now. So yeah, I do need to turn those into a uh, and yeah, the hardwood too. I do need to uh, to get more stone, but we could do that in the mines or something like that. No, no big deal there. If I'm going to be using the crystallarium, what would be the worst or not the worst, but the most money? Opal 150, basically nothing. <laughs> Celestine 125, basically nothing there. Let, let me go through all this stuff here real quick. And by the way, there you go. Uh, see if there's anything here worthwhile putting inside of here. Two cents. Okay, the tiger. Oh, we have a couple of those already. Tiger's eye. Or yeah, you know what? I got a comment from someone saying I need to just kind of have that in my inventory and just talk to people around town, and then I guess they'll kind of reveal themselves and be like, "Oh, well, is that a necklace in your inventory? Uh, I'm I'm kind of looking around for that." I guess for right now, maybe we'll put the tiger eye in there. I don't know how long that would take. I guess we'll have to see. But if we put the tiger eye in there, it's supposed to like duplicate it or something like that, right? So I guess we'll put that over here. Put the tiger eye up inside there. Keep the necklace in my inventory. Do I have any junk I could put up inside the recycling things while I'm at it too? Because I don't think so. Yeah, we it seems like we did a pretty good job putting all the uh, all the garbage, all the broken glasses, uh, broken CDs, all that kind of broken disc, whatever it's called, inside the the recycling machine. Because I, I can't see anything else we could put inside there at least right now. That's really interesting. I don't know if we could put the straw. I, I might want to look at the recipes here in just a second. See if there's anything that might require strawberries. Spaghetti? <laughs> Obviously not. Void mayonnaise. Yeah, we can make that here pretty soon. Periwinkle. Yeah, you guys said uh, to get periwinkles from the crab pots. I, I need to use those more often. I keep forgetting about them. Miner's treat. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything here that require that we know of at least. That we and then yeah, I keep getting comments from people saying uh, the triple shot espresso. I do have that uh, recipe. We bought that from Gus a little while ago. I put the strawberries up in here. I did actually get a comment from someone saying uh, to put all the regular star, like no star, like, like crops up inside of the fridge. I might do that just so we could actually use those to craft into, uh, you know, different types of foods here in the future. Right. So might move those inside or uh, indoors. And then we could have the silver star and then the gold star right there. And they're all like basically right next to each other. So that's pretty good. But anyways, I guess we'll just go to sleep for the night because I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Right. So there you go. A little bit of a, a little bit of an unintentional rhyme right there. And we got almost 7000 overnight for the pickled cauliflower, the cheese and the mayonnaise. Awesome. And yeah, almost 7000 right there. OK, cool. Still about 5000 away from us being able to afford the upgrade for the, the barn. But I don't know if we're actually. Oh, wait, the apricot tree's not able to grow now. Wait, what? Why was that not able to grow? Unless the fences are indeed blocking that. I don't want to see that, but it's rain today. I, I, I think we forgot the heck and check him on the TV yesterday. <laughs> it's going to rain all day. To, ooh, so do I want to use this opportunity to upgrade my, my watering can to gold? That's, that's what is it, 10,000? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, wow, the spirits are very happy today. I guess we're going to the mines. Oh, yeah, we had a mission to go to the mines, didn't we? Yeah, well, that mission expired, unfortunately. Okay, we didn't miss anything there. Then the flower dance is here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, during the flower dance, I think you guys said during the flower dance, that's when you actually, if, if you're actually, like, dating someone at the time, that's when you actually participate in the flower dance. Because last year, like, we just watched everyone else dance with each other. Like, we just kind of were on the sidelines watching from a distance. So maybe this year we're actually going to participate. So that's actually going to be pretty cool, you guys. Uh, let's put up some of the stuff I forgot to put up last time, or last night. Uh, let's put those up. Then, of course, we have to go give Evelyn the... Oh, yeah. Did we have any? Oh, I did have to. Oh, I'm probably getting comments. I was looking in the wrong chest. Golly. All right. Can I pick that? Can I pick that up and like cancel that? Oh, I can. OK, cool. OK, well, I'm missing out on one day of progress. How do I have four diamonds and I don't even know about it? 
<gasps> oh, the prismatic. Ooh. Should I? Hold on. Can you even? 2,000. 2,000. Can, does that even work? 750. You guys said something that was it the emeralds? 250? No. Um, it was something else. I forgot what it was. You guys said it, 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 it's technically like it, it processes in the crystallarium faster than the diamonds, but it's worth less. But because it processes faster, like day for day compared to the diamonds, it's worth more money, right? So I don't know what that is right now, but I guess for right now, I'll do the diamonds. I do have the crystal sh or a prismatic shard. I'm so hesitant to put that in there. It's a mineral. I'm like, it's a mineral. So I could put that in there and then get a lot of money. So I don't know. I kind of want to look up like. Is there a thing that tells me how long it takes in the in the in the crystal? Ah, I guess I'll look that up real quick. Crystallarium and see if it tells me. Oh, diamonds take this how long? And prismatic shard takes this long. Let's see if it's even worth it. You know. Let me see. Okay, so diamond takes five days in the crystallarium. The topaz takes only eighteen minutes, which I guess is, is in game minutes or hours. Yeah, eighteen hours in game. Okay, interesting there. So it's less than a day there. Interesting. So, uh, oh, wow, it even tells you how much how much gold per day it's actually worth, which is kind of what I was saying just a second ago. So what is better than gold or uh, diamond gold per day wise that you guys are talking about that? I can't remember. Let me let me try and see what that was, because diamond, it says it's 150, which is a lot of money. I don't know if there's anything that's any better than that. Just glancing. Oh, yeah. Star shards. You guys said it's 144 per day. It takes three days, 11 hours, 20 minutes in game. Star shards. That's what you guys were talking about. 144 gold per day. But diamonds is 150. So I guess the diamonds is still better. Now, where is prismatic shard on this? How long would that take? Oh, yeah. OK, it says the crystallariums cannot replicate prismatic shards. OK, it says that specifically. So, yeah, it makes sense that uh, you can't do that because it's like worth like 2000. Right. So a little bit cheaty there. But I, I guess we'll still process the diamond then. Right. So we get some good money on that. So every five days. We get 750 gold, which is OK. It's not even that much. Like, like I just said, 150 gold a day whenever you like do the math. Right. So it's not anything too impressive. Maybe that's why I put these over here, because just they're just worth trash or not even worth their time. <laughs> and I kept all the valuable stuff over here in Iridium Ore. Oh, yeah, didn't I? I thought I had five. I only have four. I guess I'm missing one then, huh? Uh, but you only need five gold bar and then uh, five, 10,000 to upgrade the watering can. But if it's going to be raining tomorrow, what, what can I potentially sell today? Other than, of course, like mayonnaise, because all, all the all the all the kegs and, and preserving those finished up lately. So obviously those are I can't sell any of those to like Pierre or whoever else. Right. So that's, that's unfortunate there. Anyways, top secret. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Pierre blueberry tart. OK, cool. So that must be because I did his mission yesterday and actually got a. Uh, oh, yeah. And then that's for Evelyn. I don't want to forget about that. Uh, we gave him like sashimi or something like that yesterday and uh, hopefully got some good relationship points with him. And speaking of sashimi, <laughs> yeah, remember uh, probably like last episode by now, Shane is now our boyfriend and Penny's also our girlfriend. So I don't know what's going on here, but it's apparently it's legal. The game lets you do it. So I guess we're doing it. So <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm curious now because it lets us date two people here. Can I literally, like I said, date Leah, Harvey, Abigail, <laughs> Emily, uh, Maru, Elliot, Haley, Sam, Sebastian, Alex, and Krobus. <laughs> Can I date literally everyone at once and then marry everyone in town at the same time, too? That'd be so insane if I could. <laughs> but anyways, I guess, you know, the crops and all the kind of stuff are being watered right now from the rain. I don't have to worry about that. So I don't know if I have to speed through anything right now. I grabbed the cherry right there, but it did say the apricot tree. I, I, is that it right there? It doesn't say what that is. I, I guess I could do this and it'll tell me. And that's the orange tree. So which was the apricot tree then? That's an orange tree. This one right here. Why would that? Oh, I because there's a path. I didn't see that. I'm probably getting comments last episode about that. But there is a path right there. At least I got rid of that. So that's good. But the epic that's, that's for summertime, I think. So, yeah, that kind of sucks that that lost a day of growth right there. But uh, this is the wrong chest over here, by the way. I need to go over here, grab a wall, put a path up there. Oh, cool. Uh, do we have any sprinkler ex like extra sprinklers over here? I forgot to put down. No. OK. And th yeah, we have two of those rare seats now that we bought earlier from a uh, Whatever heard of the traveling salesperson, traveling cart, I guess her actual official name is or whatever, right? Then down here, we have some mahogany trees growing. Boom, down here. Oh, wow, look at that. These two down here are actually growing a little bit faster. I'm pretty sure I, uh, what do you call it? I'm pretty sure I fertilized those, but it didn't give me anything right there, which is really weird. And we have a random tree right here growing, so I guess I'll get rid of you. Yep. Then maybe I'll get rid of some of the tall grass around here, honestly, just because we have so much of it. And remember, I do need to get wood 
for the upgrade for the barn anyways, so, you know, at least we have a reason to do this, right? Uh, hey, look at that, we're actually getting hay right now. So we're actually picking up physical hay, right? No, no, it's still going, I, I thought the silo was full. It almost is. No, it literally is full, actually. So 240 on 240. Yeah, so it is a big waste just to continue doing that right now. Okay, yeah, just stop doing that, I guess. <laughs> Let's cut down the mahogany tree, get a pretty good amount of hardwood, you guys said? So there's three, eight. Oh no, you only get eight! I thought you got twelve! Or maybe I misread, uh, something on the wiki or a comment or something like that, man. Hey, hey, another call's large. Okay, at least we can get a little bit of money out of that, I suppose. But I guess I'll just clean out some of the land here. That's what this is. This is what this swiping over here is. Uh, maybe hopefully, you know, keep cows and all the kind of stuff away from that. Get some green beans here. I don't know what to do with the green beans. I, I guess maybe sell that. I don't know. I, I doubt you get any money, like, putting out in preserving jars or kegs or anything like that, right? I guess I could check up on the coffee and stuff, too. I don't know if, maybe tomorrow in game, which I don't know, that's probably going to be next episode, right? Uh, we'll actually have all the parsnips that we grew last episode done, because it was only take four days, right? But for right now, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be checked up on over here. Everything seems like it's good to go. Uh, if anything, all we really need to do is just get a bunch of taps for all the uh, trees that we have grown at the bottom of our farm down there, right? And that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, let's just go to Evelyn, I suppose, and then we'll be good to go. And then, oh yeah, yeah, I keep on forgetting about this. Literally go over here, go check out the chickens, check on the cows. But, oh, whoa, we have adult uh, ducks now. Ooh, pet them? So they're not giving us eggs, right? Duck feather, ooh, do we need that for anything? I don't know, but the ducks only do that every other day, so it looks like the first day they did not lay an egg, unfortunately, so that sucks. So maybe tomorrow, that one's literally named, named no, and that one's named Chilbert. So maybe tomorrow, we're going to get our first duck egg, and then, of course, we'll donate that to the museum. Why is there a... There's a plus sign here as if I could pick something up, but it's not lit. There we go. Golly. Uh, let's see. Eggs. Put these up. Here you go. Two already made. So what do you do? Is there something else? Oh, wait. No, we did get the duck egg right now. Ooh, okay. Community center time, you guys. Awesome. So there's another duck egg around here because there's two of these guys here. I don't know if there's a second duck egg around here I need to pick up, but obviously the void chick is still a baby right now. Yeah, obviously not going to be laying an egg just yet. These guys already have plenty of food. So uh, I guess if anything, we could put this duck egg inside the incubator and get another duck, but no. I'm going to save that for when we get uh, another void egg from the void chicken, right? That way we have two void chickens, two ducks, and of course milk every cow here. Milk every cow and then pet every cow. Don't want to forget about that. They will pet you and milk you. You'd think uh, milking them would also consider petting because it has a little heart thing, but no. I was super confused whenever I first saw that, but uh, there we go. Three gold star large milks right there. That's amazing. Must have some really good happiness with those cows. They already have plenty of food up there as well, so that's good. Don't need to worry about that. Now let's go over here. Let's go to the mushroom cave. Go check on this. If there's anything over here worth our time, and I might go to the mines later this episode, honestly. Just because we have good luck. Uh, just kind of, I don't know, maybe go down to level 110 or some of that, because we managed to level 105 pretty recently, and we don't really have anything else going on. It's raining, all the crops are already watered, I don't have to worry about anything, right? So, yeah, yeah like, everything's just kind of taken care of. I don't have to worry about anything at all. Animal product. Oh, it is the community. So where is the community center thing for the duck feather? Because it was jiggling just a second ago. I'm very curious about that. Maybe it's going to be dye bundle? It is! Okay, dye bundle. So we have dye bundle for the duck feather, and then, uh... Some other bundle, like, like in the pantry for the, uh, duck egg. Or, no! Wait, what is this? Yeah, 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 that's the pantry. Oh, wow, I went straight to it. So there's the duck egg. And then, of course, once we upgrade the barn, we get the goat milk, or maybe get bunnies or whatever. We get the, uh, wool there. We'll have that done. Then the artisan bundle will have the, uh, the goat cheese whenever we have goats. So, yeah, the pantry's pretty close to being done, you guys. I'm really liking how much progress we're getting done with that. I don't know if we're getting any closer. Uh, yeah, apple. So, do I have an apple tree over here? I, I hope I do. I thought I did, but that's like fall, right? So I feel like I, I kind of delayed that. So hold on. Uh, this button right here. Whoops. This button. That's a pe- okay, that's peach tree. This is apricot. So that's apricot. And this is orange. Orange is summer. This is spring. So yeah, this is a little bit too late there. And this is summer. So yeah, there's no rhyme or- these need to be switched right here, honestly. So that, that kind of sucks that they're kind of mixed up, but yeah. I should probably- Yeah, it- 20 seconds right now, so if I planted the apple tree right now, I'd be done at the end of summer, and it'll start bearing fruit at the start of fall, like, straight up at the start of fall, which is going to be really good, so yeah. If we have the money, maybe I'll buy the apple, I don't know, maybe not right now, because I'm still saving up for the barn and stuff. Man, I don't know what to do. Golly. Alright, well, let, let me go inside real quick, it's 1230, we have plenty of time. Let me drop off some of the stuff, like the hardwood, the regular wood, maple seeds, sap, all that kind of stuff real quick. Uh, someone actually commented, I'm remembering now, saying that, uh, we should have, like, 12 potatoes just in case we ever get that mission again, because apparently you can get that, like, any time, so, 
Yeah, I, I guess we could do that. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get any money out of the green. <laughs> Random one green bean in our inventory. Yeah, 44. I don't know. I might just save that. Maybe get like a bean hot pot or something like that. Like, how much money would I get if I put that inside of the preserver? Like, green bean, pickled green beans. Yeah, 182. That's nothing. And then green bean juice. Ugh, 126. I guess we'll just sell that. I'm like, it is one of those things that just constantly grows over and over again. So, you know, it, it makes sense that it's super duper cheap, not really worth a lot of money. So, uh, there we go. Let's go down here. Uh, see if there's any forging over here. Any worms? Oh, yeah, look at that. We actually have leeks. We have uh, daff daffodils. And we actually have a. Uh, is that. Yeah, it is syrup. Okay, cool. Let's grab those. Then I guess we'll go over to. I want to take this over to the, to the town. I don't think we need to. Yeah. So I'm going to go over to the community center, basically. Then uh, go drop off some stuff inside there. And then, of course, head over to Evelyn. I guess we just I, I think she's always inside of her house. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Right. And it is raining right now. So I could, in theory, if I go fishing at the right time, I think it has to be during spring, doesn't it? To, to get an eel. I mean, let me look that up. Eel or was it eel or was I'm, am I thinking about something else? Yeah, it is during the spring and the fall. So, yeah. So past 4 p.m. It's 1.30 right now. I guess we can go fishing in the uh, in the ocean. How much bait do I have? I have 61, which is pretty good. So, yeah. I, I, I guess we could do that. And get a little bit of progress in that regard. Let's go over here. Let's go put the duck egg up inside the... Uh, the, the Whatever this is, the pantry. And, of course, go put up the duck feather in the bulletin board, I believe, right? So, go get these things done. And duck egg. Ba-boom! Getting that much closer to finishing up the animal bundle there, you guys. Awesome. And let's go put up the duck feather over here. Yeah, I was surprised when I saw that. I must not have even noticed the duck feather on this uh, bundle over here. Because I was like, what in the world do you even use that for? Uh, so where is that at? Dye bundle. There it is right there. How do you use this for? I don't know. Maybe does that make green dye? How would you even do that? I don't know. I'm very curious about that. And then a red cabbage and a sunflower. So very curious how you get those. Surely red cabbage. Maybe that's like a year two, year three sort of crop that you get. Uh, from Pierre whenever he adds more stuff. You know, every year he adds more stuff for each season, right? So, I'm, yeah, I'm actually kind of curious. What is a uh, year two summer and year two fall uh, crops are going to be? But speaking of such, do I even know? What, what am I doing here? Why am I mean, why? I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I need to, uh, I, I guess if anything, I could sell the, 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 whatever this is. Yeah, I get 550 right there. And I'm like, that's not going to help out at all because I'm still 5,000 away from actually upgrading. I still don't have enough wood either to upgrade the barn. So I don't know why I did that. But we have really good luck today. So whoop, there you go. Check that. And uh, there's Sam right there. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to wait until he goes inside there. <laughs> Let's go inside here and go talk to Evelyn. Give her. What was what she want? The horse rash? I think so. There you go. Hey. Oh, so you saw the ad I posted. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem, Evelyn. Here's a little something for your trouble. How much money did we get? Hopefully a pretty good amount. 150. Ah, oh, not bad. And of course, Evelyn's thankful too. Okay, cool. So how are we doing with her? She's uh, two hearts right there. Not bad. So beet and tulip we know of. And then of course, it's hiding all these other things that uh, we don't know of. She likes parsnip. That, okay, yeah, we already gave that to her beforehand. But uh, beet, I think you guys said I get that during, I think in the desert, right? And don't we need beets? We need to put like beets inside of Mayor Lewis's like fridge or something like that randomly or something like that, right? I don't know. Yeah, we already read about her uh, telling us about the, the roof potentially leaking. In the old days, George would have scampered right up and fixed it. <sighs> I'm like, he's in a wheelchair right now, so you can't really blame him. Yeah, you can't do that right now, right? It's awful cold. Yeah, I, I'm like, he talked about that beforehand. Uh, being like cold whenever it rains, so not too surprised that he's saying it again, right? But, uh... Oh, oh we picked up a Hey, we got a Haley gift right there, you guys. <laughs> And we got a soggy newspaper. And oh, yeah, it's Monday. So we have another special request over here. Ooh, the strong. Oh, my gosh. The strong stuff again. Do I want to do that now? Prismatic jelly. I require assistance uh, trucking down the prismatic slime in the local caves. Honestly, I kind of want to do that instead. Like, I I'm not correct. We literally just tried to do the potato. We we're like one day away from being able to do it. And, and even if I kept the potato juice from beforehand, I think it means I need to like make it from scratch. So I'm like, I could process the potatoes right now. We have like eight silver star in storage. I don't know if we have any regular ones in storage that we just start making right now. I don't even know if I have 12 kegs. I think I have like nine or 10. Uh, so I, I might need to craft a couple more. But honestly, this prismatic jelly right here, like it, it, it kind of gives us a reason to go to the mines. And I was already going to the mines anyways. Like I was interested in doing that anyways. So I think I'm going to do this. Like, honestly, I don't even care. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She still asks for potatoes. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe it's a different thing instead of potatoes. Maybe it's, like, something else. Cauliflower? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. It's still potatoes right now, unfortunately. And just for curiosity's sake, I guess I'll look it up. I think I have to look it up in the real wiki, though. Let me see how long a potato takes to grow. 
just for curiosity's sake. So if I, okay, it takes six days. So yeah, if I, if I went up to whatever his name is, bought a bunch of potato seeds, grew them right now without any fertilizer, like any, any speed grow fertilizer, we could actually have all the potatoes done by the end of the month. And of course, processing at the beginning of the spring or, or summer. And then those would take like however many days. And this is a 14 day event or whatever. Yeah, I'm not going to go through that again. Honestly, like I guess I, I, I could still buy the potatoes right now. I could still grow them. I guess we could do that, and then we could do it maybe later, but not right, not too soon afterwards. I, I, I think I'm going to do this one over here for the uh, for the wizard prismatic jelly. I require assistance in tracking down the rare and dangerous prismatic slime within the local caves. Bring me a jar of its prismatic jelly, and you will be duly rewarded. M. Rasmodius, seven days to do this mission. Ooh. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's definitely do that. That that sounds like a lot of fun, especially because it seems like that is a mission where I, I guess I can look up the prismatic jelly right now just to see like, like, like what layers do I need to go to to find this thing? Or is it just going to be anywhere? I don't know. I guess I'll see real quick. OK, so it looks like to spawn in is a 1.2 percent chance that it, uh, that a prismatic slime will replace a regular slime anywhere. Uh, so the mines, the 40 mines or the skull cavern. So that's actually pretty interesting. So is there anywhere where the uh, the woods over here, we've seen a lot of slimes over there. I don't know if that's really a good place to go check for slimes. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. And of course, yeah, I said I wanted to go fishing in the ocean. Well, we could we can continue doing that until the end of spring or whatever. We still have this mission to work on. So, yeah, let's go over to the mines. I guess I could drop these things up off inside the, uh, the chest that's at the front of the mines. Let's check through the trash cans over here because we do have, like... I forget if it's like the best luck or whatever today, but it's certainly good luck. I'll tell you that mission. Of course, the museum and the man and the blacksmith are usually good places to check through their trash. Right. But uh, let's go to the mines. Uh, I guess we can go check. Let's go check up on the quarry. We haven't been there in a little while. We've been there somewhat recently, but not hugely recently. Uh, nothing too crazy there. And yeah, no slimes here. We can find slimes. I guess that's what that's called over there. The skull quarry or the skull cavern or whatever that's called. And there's gold ore right there. So a little bit of money right there. Not bad. Let's go back to the mines. Let's drop off some of the random trash up inside here. So yeah, the ornate necklace, all that kind of stuff. We're not going to need that in there. So let's put that up. And of course, we have the staircase. I need to make more life elixirs, but I need to go to whatever layer that was. If not, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave. Maybe I will just go down to level 105 or whatever. Uh, and try, yeah, you know what? Two birds are pulling one stone or whatever. Try and go down level 110 while also doing this mission. That, that sounds like a good idea. Let's definitely do that. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's that guy right there. Yeah, I... I oh! I was about to say, I, I got a comment actually telling me about that guy's like, or maybe that's a different guy I'm thinking about. Like every time there's like a green effect or whatever, like he like drains your stamina, I think they said, right? Or maybe I'm misremembering there. I don't know. But let's see if there's any more uh, slimes or anything like that over here. No, it's just another one of those guys. Is it because I'll try and kill him before he does that weird status effect to drain my stamina or whatever that is he does? What is it? Oh, no, he drained my defense. I have negative eight defense. That must have been one. Or maybe, yeah, he, he casts a spell, uh, just a general spell on you. That's what that is. Yeah. Not like anything, maybe, maybe I had like a spell last episode, two episodes ago, whatever that was, where I did have my stamina drained, and that's why I remember that. I don't know. Either way, just break these rocks, try and find our way down. At least we found some coal right there, which is good, because we've been pretty short on coal recently. Another magma geo right there, awesome. Let's continue breaking some stuff over here, breaking rocks. <sighs> try and find our way down. Let's go over here where there's a bunch of rocks. If we have some better luck, and then probably here pretty soon, I'm going to have to end off this episode here, you guys. Just because, uh... I'm like, I, I recorded like an hour and a half worth of footage here, so obviously I'm going to be splitting this off into two separate, there we go, two separate episodes, so hopefully it's not going to be too, uh, too, too long of two episodes. So anyways, any prismatic slimes? No, these are just pure, okay, I, I guess that's, that's good. So these, all the slimes here should be red. If there are any slimes that are like green and then suddenly turns blue or whatever, right? Oh, oh, oh. then obviously we came across a prismatic slime, which is honestly kind of bad because of course they have a lot of health, so they're going to be dangerous and they're going to be dealing out 35 damage or whatever that was, right? That I read. And there you go, did some good damage right there. You're getting some coal out of them too, which is actually not bad. Can't complain about that one bit. Nice. But yeah, remember, there's only a 1.2% chance that each slime that we come across actually spawns in as a prismatic slime instead of, oh, whoa, whoa. instead of like whatever slime they're supposed to be, right? Yeah, that's a regular slime right there. Get some gold right there. We already found the way down earlier on, so I guess, I guess it just go because we're getting swarmed by a bunch of bats right now anyway, so. I'm like, we didn't find the way down. It was already over here, so let's just go, 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 go. Oh, I already have a uh, pepper popper in my inventory, man. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of gold right there. Ooh, that's really good. Hopefully this guy didn't cast a spell on me that... Wait, what? What did that just do? Oh my gosh, our defense is lowered or something. I don't know. Hold on, let's try and kill this guy. Got him. Hold on. Yeah, our defense went down right there. Yeah, man. Well, at least there's no other enemies around us right now because, man, we're really vulnerable right now. Definitely want to try and spam eat 
all those heckin' mushrooms in our inventory right now, but at least we have a lot of gold that we're getting right now, too. I'm saying right now a lot right now. I don't know why. Right now, right now. <laughs> There's a shadow guy right there. I don't know why that guy's not in the sewers right now. I said right now again. Golly. Let's kill this guy. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. I need to heal up. Holy heck. We have some topaz or something like that over there too, as well as gold right now, right now. <laughs> no slimes, unfortunately, though. So let's just go over here, break all this, maybe get some mixed seeds or fiber or whatever else over here too. So there you go. Break this. Top topaz or... Yep. Got some topaz. Nice. Actually, accurately remember that for once. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, nice, found a way down, cool. I don't know if there's any slimes to the right of us, but yeah, remember, I do need a lot of stone too for the uh, upgrade for the barn. Not only just the wood, but I'm missing like 100 stone or whatever, so this is actually helping us out quite a bit as well, so I'm not going to complain about us going through the mines, and we're at 108 right now, so we're actually kind of close. To oh, whoa, there's like a minecart over here, ooh. But we're, we're, we're getting kind of close, we do have plenty of time right now, we do have the, the emergency staircases in our inventory. Let's follow the minecart. Oh yeah, I think it's downwards, yeah. It hit a dead end right there, obviously. Uh, oh, wow, I found, speaking of downwards, there's a downwards uh, path right there. Maybe we'll do that here in just a minute. Bone fragments. Let's keep going down, and we should find some uh, coal down here, right? In, the, in, the, in like a minecart backpack or something like that? I don't know. Let's kill the shadowy figure guy. Uh, there you go. Get some slimes. Yeah, unfortunately, none of these are the prismatic one. They're both blood red. And speaking of blood, I'm getting really getting close to being covered in blood, dying over here. <laughs> Eat all the common mushrooms. There you go. Got him. Okay, at least we healed up a little bit. 17 health right there. Killed one slime, killed the other one. Nice. Awesome. Keep eating the mushrooms. And yeah, I do see the, uh, the minecart over there full of coal, so that's going to be perfect for us. Because I literally just said, man, I need some heckin' coal. So, let's go over here. And yeah, we already found the way down earlier, so we're going to make it to level 109, no problem. And then, uh, oh man, there's another slime right there. A bunch of coal right there. Kill these guys. The slime's going to- oh, nice. The slime hit the minecart right there, so he didn't hit us. That's good. Nice, he hit it again. Nice. He's going to hit us again. Oh, nice. I actually, like, parried him right there. That's kind of crazy. We got a white algae right there. I think you can eat that and get some, uh... Real, what do you get out of that again? Yeah, 20 energy, 9 health. Not bad. I forget what else you could use that for. I guess if you look that up, right? So, that... Wait, what? Oh, I'm hitting F2. Whoops. Here we go. Pale broth. Do I know that recipe, or is it, like, telling me that? I don't know. I feel like I would have remembered something called Pale Broth. It's disgusting sound here. <laughs> let's go up here, let's go, uh... I think down? Or up, yeah, yeah, up here. Yeah, there's the stairs right there, and then there's a big boulder. I kind of want to break the boulder, honestly. So we get, like, what, ten... Man, face in the wrong direction. <laughs> so we get, like, ten stone or whatever right here. Yeah, ten stone. Just, like, breaking a heckin', uh... Oh, nice, another one. Like, breaking a heckin' stump or whatever. There we go. Is there anything here, or am I going to go straight down? Oh, interesting, new music. Some new slimes there, too. Oh, nice, the way down immediately right there, awesome. Seems like a slime down there, but it looks like a regular red slime for this layer. Oh, wow, another way down there. Ooh, that is really good. Still no prismatic slime, unfortunately. I assume if we kill the prismatic slime, we find the prismatic jelly. I, I don't think we read that aspect. I, I literally looked up, like, prismatic slime. I didn't read prismatic jelly, but I assume whenever you kill him, he drops the prismatic jelly. And I assume he's only available during this specific mission, so... I, I doubt you could... Kind, kind of like the ectoplasm for the ghost. Which I also think was also for the, uh, for the wizard, right? Oh yeah, I don't want to break that. Let's go down here. Of course, there's a lot of loot, and hopefully we get some good stuff in here. Maybe some hardwood, because I know you can get... Ooh, an Omni Geode. Some stone, cave carrots, some bone fragments, another warp totem for the farm. Not bad, I'm not going to complain about that. We already have some pathways opened up above us, so, you know, just spend some of this extra time going over here and grabbing some more gold. And then I, I guess maybe head back home whenever it hits like 1 a.m. or something like that. I forget. I forget what is like the safe. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's go this way. There's way too many stones. So many, too, way too many rocks over there. You know what? Kind of, kind of want to use one of these. Yeah, use that. Just go down. There you go. So boom, we made it to 110 or 110. <laughs> space boots. What in the world? You received space boots. What is that? Plus four immunity and plus four defense compared to plus three. Oh, nice. It's just a straight up upgrade. Cool. And Iridium Weave gives them a purple sheen. Ooh. So yeah, definitely a uh, step up above the Firewalker boots right there, you guys. Awesome. And it makes sense because it's a space theme sort of thing right there. Cool. 110. Yeah. I think the, the limit or whatever you want to describe it as is 120. So we're actually getting really close to that, you guys. That's really cool. So a little bit of wood there. We're grab those and then I guess I'll leave the newspaper in the literal trash I actually do not need that so <laughs> let's just head home 
Go to the town there. Oh yeah, I said I was going to buy the- Oh, whoops. No, not the town. The, uh... Oh yeah, I said I was going to also fish at night time, but... Yeah, I need to remember that before the end of the month to try and get the eels and all that kind of stuff. As well as anything else, like maybe at night time during the uh, night, you can only get certain fish in the lake or something like that. Need to go look into that too, but let's go to the bus stop before I can forget and end off this episode here. Because <laughs> we've got a lot of progress done these last two episodes. This giant, like, hour and a half long recording session I'm going to need to cut in half. Or like hour, 40 minute long episode or recording session so far now, golly. Everything's just out the window right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm... Am I splitting my forging? Yeah, we have a gold horse rash right there. I think I did split up my forging uh, things into different chests, so I need to look into that, so yeah. So these are regular ones that are not gold star, any star, etc. Uh, I need to put the stone up inside of the slingshot, like so. So how many do we actually have? We have uh, 179, which is actually pretty good. That's the whipper number right there, so... We need just uh, 20, 21 more of those, <laughs> and we have the 200 stone that we're going to need for the uh, upgrade for the barn, so that's actually not bad right there, you guys. Cool, cool. And I guess, at least for right now, I put up all the forging stuff inside here. Gold star or silver star. Just kind of get it out of there, right? And then, uh, yeah, there's uh, forging right there, but whatever. Then uh, we could open up the Omni Geo, and then maybe like two episodes from now, we're actually have another diamond out of that, so that's, that's actually going to be pretty cool. And uh, 15 coal, that's actually really good. I kind of want to, it's 1 a.m. right now, we have plenty of time. Uh, get some progress done with smelting some gold, because that takes a long, like, five hours or whatever, right? So there you go. Wow, some really good progress there, you guys. Amazing. Put up some of the cave carrots or whatever else up inside there, too. Yeah, the, uh, maple syrup, too. Cool. Uh, magma geode, bone fragments. I don't know what, where we're putting those. <laughs> Topaz, other things over here. I guess we'll put these up over here if anything stacks up. There you go. And, of course, the old boots as well. And I think everything else can be taken, uh, put up inside. And then, either that or just wait until next episode to take care of it, like the geos, right? So, let's go over here, let's go put these up over here. There you go. Bunch of stuff just stacked up right there, amazing. And same thing over here. Awesome, and geos. I'll keep the geos in my inventory. Of course, that one necklace, keep that in my inventory, too. Extra warp totem for the farm, I guess I'll keep that, just so we could use that, right? And then, uh, yeah, I don't have the, the trash or anything like that, I left that behind, so I'm not going to put those inside of the recycling machine or whatever there, so. Anyways, no, no events or anything like that that we missed out on today, so that's good, and of course, all the cows, chickens, all that kind of stuff were already tended to. I could go get the cheese and, and mayonnaise and sell it overnight, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Let's just go to sleep right now. At least we went to the mines and made it to level 110. Didn't find the prismatic uh, slime and get the prismatic jelly like we wanted, unfortunately. And only made 44 <laughs> overnight from that one green bean, so that's not too bad, I suppose. We still have like almost 8,000 gold right now, so I guess I can't complain. Wait, the peach tree now. Wait, what? Oh, I'm probably getting non-stop comments about... Oh, wow, yeah, see, those actually finish right there. Probably getting non-stop comments. Peach tree, is that... Which one is that? Uh, let's see, is it this one? That's the orange. Peach tree. Oh, the peach... Uh, oh my gosh. Extreme moments for comments right there, you guys. Not only, like, earlier in the episode, I was like, oh man, there was one behind this tree. But there was also one behind this tree as well. Probably getting comments about that out the butthole. Ah. But anyways, at least I didn't get yelled at about the orange tree, so I guess... I guess we're good there. Yeah, I think we're fine. <laughs> anyways, it's raining again today, uh, but I'm going to end off the episode right here. Anyways, I guess we'll check up on the mails or anything here. Oh, yeah, they're telling us about the flower dance. We'll worry about that next episode. But for right now, I guess I'll just do the outro and we can start looking forward to next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Some of the parsnips over here are already grown. Must have like speed fertilizer or something like that over there. And while you're down there liking the video and whatnot, <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh, man, the void chicken actually grew into a full-on one, and we have a void egg over here now. Oh, my gosh, craziness happening next episode, you guys. Definitely need to refeed these guys over here, too. Holy heck. And I need to get more mayonnaise machines, too, to get, like, duck mayonnaise, if you can even do that. Oh, yeah, and no duck eggs today, because we got them yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, the, the outro and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like button, subscribe button, ring the bell, so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode <laughs> of Stardew Valley comes out, so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.